Hey there internets, I'm Michael and this is Two Can Play That Game, bringing you the next part in our playthrough of Blood Rage by Call Mini or Not. So let's take it to the table. We start our second age with our God's Gifts phase. So we deal eight cards to each player and the rest just sit back unseen. Here we have the starting eight cards I've been dealt. So we've got Himdol's Eye, which is a plus two battle card, which can be played after the other cards have been revealed. We've got Alfheim Quest to have the most in grey. We've got a Dark Elf monster upgrade, and this monster may invade Yggdrasil and has plus three strength in Yggdrasil. We've got Mannheim Quest to have the most power in yellow. We've got another Hemdal's Eye. We've got Odin's Tide, plus one strength battle card. And before comparing strength, each player chooses and destroys all but one of his figures in the battle. Got a Jotheim quest, so that's to have the most in blue. And we've got the Glorious Death quest to have four figures in Valhalla. I'm going to take Hemdal's Eye and the Alf Hem quest. And the rest get passed to Pixel. And the cards she then gives me are... Tears Rage, a plus six battle card. Four's Oath, plus one battle card. If you win, raise one of your clan stats by one. Fire Dragons, gain eight glory when a ship of yours is destroyed. Expert in Arms, your warriors are now strength two. Valkyrie, gain two glory per enemy figure destroyed in battle with this monster. And Tears Crush, plus four battle. So I guess I'll take the Fire Dragons and Tears Rage. And then pass these four to never be seen again to Pixel. And I get back Glorious Death, Odin's Tide, and Hemdal's Eye and a Dark Elf. Well, I think I'll go for the Hemdal's Eye and the Dark Elf. So these go to the discards. And then we move on to our actions phase. Of course, this time starting with Pixel, who is going to kick things off by pillaging in Elvagar. So that'll increase her axes. Then for my first go, I'm going to play the ship upgrade here. So that will mean that I gain eight glory when a ship is destroyed. And of course, that means I can invade with my ship as part of that. And that costs me one due to Frigga's charm. And I'll go in this Ford here. And Pixels go, and she's going to invade with her leader here, which will cost her no rage. And he's going to come for a visit to Utgard. And then I'm just going to declare a pillage on Analang here. So I've got five strength, and Pixel has two. So Pixel's card is on the right, mine on the left, and boom. So I played plus two here, so that puts me on seven. Um, the text just means I could have played it after battle cards have been revealed. Hemdall's watch, however, means we discard all cards. And Pixel gains a number of glory equal to the strength of these cards. So she's gaining two glory. And we now need to choose new cards to play. And again, I am on the left and Pixel on the right. And Pixel played Hemdal Sight, so this equals my strength, so that's two, which puts her on four against my seven. So she loses, so she gets to keep her card. And I lose my card. But I do successfully pillage, which means I can move my leader to an adjacent province. 
and I will I will leave him there actually. It's a May, I'm just gonna leave him there. So Pixel loses her two warriors and I gain one rage. And I also gain five glory. And Pixel will bring out the Valkyrie, which costs two rage. And we'll clip a little base on there. And she will invade with it to Utgard here. And background to me, so Team Raven will play a monster upgrade, the Dark Elf, which because of Frigga's charm is free, and it may invade Yggdrasil. So we'll clip the base on, and then off the Dark Elf goes, landing in Yggdrasil. Pixel is then going to declare a pillage in Utgard. So the call to arms, I could bring either the Dark Elf here or my leader out of Analang. Hmm. Well, if I bring the leader, we've got equal strength there, but I might not win. I will not bring my leader in, so I've only got a strength of two. So as we've done in the past, Pixel on the right here, me on the left, and... I played Loki's Trickery, so if I lose I steal one Rage, she played Hemdall's Sight, so the strength of this is equal to zero. But she had strength five there, and I only had two. Therefore, she has one and she'll lose her Hemdall Sight card. I'll get to take my Loki card, which of course means I gain a Rage and she loses a Rage but she does gain glory for winning here, and also two for destroying my ship. So she gains a total of seven for that. However, because of my Fire Dragons card here, I will gain eight glory for the death of my ship. And she does also gain an increase in her horn stat. And then it is my go. And I am going to pillage Yggdrasil. So call to arms, she may bring anyone in she wishes to. She'll not bring anyone in. So I'm also not going to bring anyone in. So when they're do for done, I manage to pillage, so I get to increase each of my stats by one. Pixel is then gonna spend one rage to march these both into Alfheim. And I'm gonna spend one rage to invade with a warrior into Gimli here. Pixel is going to play a quest. I am going to declare a pillage on Gimli. Does Pixel wish to heed the call to battle? And no, she's going to stay where she is. So I successfully pillage. And then Pixel's going to play another quest. And I will also do the same. So Pixel's going to invade with her dwarf chieftain into Elvagar. And I've got nothing but battle cards left and lots of unspent rage. So I guess uh, I can put out more people, plenty of space for that. So I'll start filling the board with warriors. So I'll use one rage to bring out a warrior. And he'll join Pixel's peeps over here in Elvagar. And Pixel is gonna spend one rage to invade with a warrior, placing him in Utgard here. I'll then spend another rage and bring out another warrior, again into Elvagar. Then Pixel will spend her last two rage to buy a clan upgrade. Odin's inspiration, double your glory award for dying during Ragnarok. That's Pixel now out of rage. But I've still got plenty, I've got six left. So I'll use one to invade with a warrior. And I'll go into Gimli here. And actually another one, do the same and another one and do the same 
and another one and do the same which leaves me with two rage and one warrior left and I do have enough horns to put him out so I'll spend one rage to put my last warrior out and the only free space is Utgard here uh, which point I'm gonna have to pass because there's nothing else I want to do making that the end of the actions phase on to our discard phase. Now Pixel only has the one card, so she is fine. However, I have two, so I need to get rid of one. And I'm gonna discard the Rage Steel there. Then it is quest time. And starting with Pixel, she has Juttenheim. Have the most in a blue area. And also Mannheim have the most in a yellow province. Now, if we look at the board here, we can see the only blue provinces down here, Utgard. She has strength one, I have strength one. So she has failed on that one. And then in the yellow, again, there's only the one province, but she has strength three and I only have strength two. So she has managed that one. So she'll get to increase a clan stat and gain seven glory. Then for me, I've just got the one, of course, and that's the... Alfheim one, so that's have the most in grey. And Analang here, I don't, I only have three and she has five, but Gimli, I have all the strength, so I have managed it. So that gives me seven glory and I get to raise one clan stat by one. Which brings us to Ragnarok. So this time we'll be getting three glory for each figure destroyed or in Axel's case six glory because of Odin's inspiration and we're going to be destroying Analang here whoops I missed there we go <laughs> I got my leader <laughs> just missed the rest of them um so Pixie loses two figures giving her 12 glory and I lose one giving me free glory. And our Doom Token moves off up the board to Elvagar. So then we release from Valhalla. So we each take back our figures. And that is it again for our playthrough. If you are enjoying this be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our final installment. And of course Please do also check out the rest of the videos on the channel, share the channel with your friends and family, and also take a look at us on social media. You can find us on Facebook and also on Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.